there's good news and bad news about products of functions. The bad news first, if you have fg, two functions multiplied together, and you try to take the derivative of them, it is not as simple as f prime g prime. As much as we'd like that to be the case, it's just not. Even worse, same thing goes for division. If you try to take the derivative of one function divided by another, it is definitely not definitely not <laughs> just the function, the derivative of the function divided by the derivative of the other function. The good news is that there are relatively simple rules for these derivatives. So let's look at the product rule in this video in particular. So the product rule says that the derivative of two functions multiplied together is the derivative of the first times the original second function plus the derivative of the second function times the original first function. I like to use a simplified form of the product rule just to remember it a little easier. And that's as simple as AB quantity prime equals A prime B plus B prime A. That fits nicely into the memory and it's really easy to unpack it to do very complicated derivatives. The product rule is not hard to prove. Uh, you can see that proof in most any calculus book. I'll add a video at some point with the proof of it as well, but I don't want to prove it here. Instead, I want to get right into this example and show how to use it. So going back up top for our example here, we have h of x equals quantity x cubed plus 4x squared plus x. We're going to treat that as our a. And then x minus 1, we're going to treat that as our b. Okay, then we'll use this formula. Since they're multiplied together, so a, b prime, the whole derivative, so h prime of x, will be, okay, a prime b. So let's do a prime first. So 3x squared, I'm just using the power rule here, plus 8x plus 1 times b, just the original function, cut and paste, x minus 1. Okay, next we do b prime a, so plus, well, the derivative of x minus 1 is actually just 1 times a, the original function, x cubed plus 4x squared plus x. There's b prime a. And now it's just algebra from here. Let's, let's expand these and combine terms and simplify. So let's see, I'm going to distribute this x minus 1 to each of these terms. So doing the x first, that gives us 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus x. And then minus 1 to all those terms, so minus 3x squared minus 8x minus 1. And then here we simply have plus x cubed plus 4x squared plus x. Okay, combining like terms, it looks like we have, well, let's see, let's look at our x cubes first. So I'm thinking we have 4x cubed. Now let's look at our x squareds. How about plus 12x squared? Um, oh, there's one more, there's one more, minus three. So let's make that 9x squared. It's always the algebra, 9x squared. Okay, let's look at our x's. We have plus x minus 8x plus another x, so I'm thinking minus 6x, and then finally minus 1, minus 1. Okay, there's no more simplification, so that is the derivative. And I recommend on your own as an exercise to multiply this h of x out first, right? We, we could do that. We don't need the product rule here. So take this h of x, multiply that out, and then just take the regular derivative of it and see if you get the same thing. Though the product rule is new now, in the end it ends up being much quicker than trying to multiply everything out um, initially. So get used to using it. It's going to be one of the most powerful tools in all of calculus, Calc 1, 2, 3, and, and beyond.